See My Voice is a sports leadership programme for young people with a visual impairment aged 10 to 20. The programme supports young leaders to develop life and leadership skills through volunteering opportunities, which increases their confidence and employability prospects. Hi, my name is Kean Savile. I'm 20 years old and I am from rugby. I'm Yusuf Herrera. I'm 21 um, and I'm from Birmingham. My name is Amber and I'm 20 years old. I live in London. My condition is I am partially sighted, so I am completely blind in this eye and partially sighted in this eye. Um, I kind of acquired this visual impairment by a rare condition called neurofibromatosis type 2 um, and it's basically where a, I have a tumour in my head um, that causes loads of other tumours to grow along my central nervous system. My condition is called Ulström syndrome which affects all organs in the body as well as causing visual impairment, hearing loss, rapid heartbeats and lung problems. I have three major eye conditions, Peter's anomaly, microphthalmia and glaucoma. I only have light perception, meaning I can only see lightness and darkness. I could see shapes and colour before, but my vision has deteriorated over the years. As part of the See My Voice programme, British Blind Sport hosts residential camps for the young leaders. These camps give the young leaders a chance to come together to share their experiences, learn new skills and have fun. The See My Voice camps are a set of days where people from all over the UK who are involved in the project get together and undertake a whole series of activities which are designed to improve team building skills amongst other skills. We asked what young leaders enjoyed most about the residential camps. Firstly, how friendly everybody is. Uh, secondly, um, how well we all bonded together um, on the camps. And thirdly, the amount of support that we were given both in person and uh, online if we needed it. Whilst the See My Voice project is tailored towards helping young people develop leadership skills, it has also benefited the young leaders in numerous ways. The See My Voice project has really helped me develop as a person and I can now safely say that I can get my voice out there that I want to be heard and what I want to achieve in life. I wanted to become more involved in sports and do more volunteering work. It helped me become more confident and flexible in different situations. It also helped improve my self-advocacy skills. We asked young leaders what See My Voice has shown them about the accessibility of sport and physical activity. It is accessible, even if you don't think it is. You don't even have to be particularly sporty. Um, cricket's a great thing to do because, you know, if the ball is going to come towards you and hit you, you've got a big bat to hit it with. But, you know, find a sport you feel comfortable with, try lots of different sports and find the one that you prefer and then persevere with that one. I wanted to do more sport and I saw that the British Blind Sport were advertising a young leaders programme and on that you learn sports skills, organisation skills and ev not everything to do with sport but skills that you can translate into other things and not just sport. So Young Leaders is really versatile, you can use it in lots of areas. See My Voice encourages and supports young people to get involved in volunteering to develop their leadership and employability skills and to gain valuable workplace experience. I undertook the volunteering role of scorer um, for Gold War UK um, and I have done this position numerous times throughout the past few years. I have volunteered with British Blind Sports 
Lord's Cricket Ground, the London Youth Games, Race for the Kids, which was a fundraising event for Great Ormond Street Hospital, and to Santa Dash on Clapham Common. I started as a coach for my swimming club to help um, the coaches out with just general coaching, getting equipment, stuff like that. I then basically went on to coaching my own para squad. Um, so we had a couple of people from um, the kind of para community come and join us. What are you hoping to learn from the See My Voice project? I'm hoping to get leadership skills, uh, improve my communication and team working, and you know, do and make a lot of connections with other people because that's really important. As part of the See My Voice program, we encourage young leaders to volunteer with organisations in the sports sector. We invited Sarah from Forest Green Rovers Community Fund to tell us about their young leader volunteer, Jacob. I've heard of the See My Voice programme through um, a young man called Jacob Tate who came to visit us uh, on an educational trip. Jacob got so enthused by his experience of coming to the club that he was keen to come on board as one of our amazing volunteers as part of our ambassador programme. We also um, involved him on match days where he took part in an ambassador parade where he came out with the players um, as they came out at the start of the match. He's also been a ball boy um, and sold programmes at the match as well. So we welcome Jacob, but in fact, we, we, it was a delight to have Jacob on board. Um, as a volunteer, he was passionate, he was enthusiastic and he was very dedicated. More and more, we saw his confidence grow throughout the experience. Um, the shy young man that we met initially then took the um, initiative and he would always start conversations. He got to know members of staff at the club and would come through reception and greet everybody in a really friendly way. We learned that there are no barriers uh, to participation whatsoever. Um, we made some very simple adaptations. So we talked to Jacob and asked him what his needs were. So when he uh, was ball boy and when he walked out, uh, we made sure that we had another person accompanied him to give him confidence and to guide him as appropriate. So we saw great changes in uh, Jacob throughout the year and he is keen to continue with the programme this year. Um, so he will step up as a, a senior ambassador and take on uh, a role within our alumni, hopefully, and also within our existing ambassador programme. Um, we are definitely really open to inviting more um, participants and more volunteers uh, with visual impairments and any other disabilities. Uh, we've learned from his um, can-do attitude and that's really enhanced our programme. We have a num number of ambassadors with different disabilities, but this has proved to be a real asset uh, to our organisation and to our programmes. Working with our young leaders, we have developed five top tips to help organisations to be more accessible when hosting volunteers. Tip one, ensure your application process is accessible. If you are expecting volunteers to apply and maybe interview for a role, it is essential to consider the accessibility of your documents and application process. Tip two, don't be afraid to ask questions like what is your level of sight or do you feel that you need any support? Questions like these can feel uncomfortable or taboo, but it's important to ask them so that you can provide the right support. Tip three, if you are asking a volunteer to run an activity or support other people, make sure that they have all the resources that they need. It's much easier for a volunteer with full sight to run over to a pile of equipment and pick out what they might need. Tip four, see more than the visual impairment. It is easy to get caught up focusing solely on your volunteer's impairment and what this means for your event or workspace. Remember, 
your volunteer is more than their sight loss. They want a rewarding experience like every other volunteer, as well as being included. Tip five, adaptations don't have to be difficult or expensive. There can be stigma that making opportunities inclusive takes a lot of extra work, when in fact, even the smallest adjustments can make a huge impact on our accessibility. How can you make adaptations to avoid future issues? For example, brightly coloured equipment can help a partially sighted person differentiate more easily compared to dark coloured equipment. Through See My Voice, we have reached over 150 young people living with sight loss. Over 90 young leaders have gained a qualification and they have recorded over two and a half thousand volunteering hours. Personally, after taking part in See My Voice, I am now employed by British Mind Sport, working to support other young leaders through the project and through their own experiences. If you want to find out more about the work that we do, you can email info at britishbindsport.org.uk or phone our office on 019 26424247. Alternatively, you can contact us via our social media channels. We are British Blind Sport on Facebook and we are at Brit Blind Sport on both Twitter and Instagram. A big thank you to our young leaders, volunteers and host organisations for their participation in See My Voice and for their help in making this video.